welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Nakeedra Brown, just hopping in really, really quickly to show you how to do the upper body exercises. So if you are a part of the Zing LS's upper body challenge, it starts today. So if you are watching this video on replay later on in the month or the year, you can still do these exercises to help tone your upper body as well. So this is week one. So we're gonna start super, super slow just to get everybody used to doing some upper body exercises. What you will need are some dumbbells or some weights. These happen to be five pound weights, but if you have one pound, two pound, three pound, five pound, whatever pound that you um, desire, you do need to make sure that it's not a pound that is too much for you. So I know you wanna be ambitious and I know you wanna get a higher weight. If you have never exercised with weights before, I encourage you to start with the lower numbers. Um, just because you wanna make sure that you don't tear or strain or sprain any of the muscle groups that we're gonna work out. So if you're brand new to using weights, you might, might start off with a one or a two pound. Also, if you don't have weights, you can go and grab something in your house. You can use canned food. You can use some other weighted items in your house that you can get your hands around um, so you don't necessarily have to add weights. So this week, week one, we have three exercises. So we have a um, overhead press, we have a bicep curl, and we have a lateral arm raise. And so I'll show you how to do all three of those. We are going to do three sets of 10. So you're gonna do 10 of each, and then go back and start again and do 10 more, and then 10 more. So you'll have a total of 30 for the entire rep. So ready, let's get started. So you wanna put your feet about shoulder length apart. Your arms will be here. Um, and then for that overhead press, you're gonna go straight up with your arms. If you have a mirror that you can stand in front of, that's perfect. So you can make sure you can guide your arms through the right range of motion. You really want those shoulders to come down nice and slow. You don't want it to be too fast um, because again, we don't want to injure ourselves. And hopefully you have already warmed up before we started this. So we're gonna say this is six, this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and this is 10 right here. So again, don't underestimate the value of warming up, especially whatever group you're getting ready to start to work. Um, so hopefully you've already warmed up with some arm exercises before. Bicep curls, you wanna tuck that elbow into your side, and then you're just gonna curl. I do one side at a time, just to make sure I can give it my attention. And this is 10, and then you're gonna start the other side. This is 10, then your lateral arm raises, so I start here, again, with that wide shoulder stance and your arms are just gonna go out to the side. So it's important that your arms, again, you can use a mirror if you're standing in front of a TV that's off or a screen. It's important that you use a weight that is appropriate for you because if you don't, this is a good way to injure your shoulder, um, but you wanna use a weight that's appropriate and then you just go up laterally with your arms. So we're gonna say this is seven, this is eight, this is nine, and this is 10. All right, so you wanna do about 30 seconds in between your reps, grab some water, regroup if you need to. Again, nothing fancy about this, all in the effort to tone your muscles, so here we go. Next set, grab your weights again, overhead presses, let's go. This is eight, this is nine, and this is 10. Going right into your bicep curls. It's 
Some people do alternate. Again, I just do one arm at the time so I can make sure to give it its full attention. Nine, ten of the arm. Tuck that elbow into the side. One more is 10, lateral arm raises right here. One more is 10, and look at that, just like that. You made it through another rep. Grab you some more water. And then we're going to do our last set and you'll be done. Again, we're going to work arms on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You really don't want to do every day of the week because, again, that puts a lot of stress on that muscle group and it's more likely to injure. So we want to tone and we want to strengthen but we don't want to strain. Nine and 10. All right, bicep curls. Ten, other arm. And lateral arm raises. So this is a good, simple workout. Way to start week one of getting your arms strengthened and toned. I know you're ambitious and I know you want to do more, um, but you got to start somewhere. And again, we don't want injuries. We don't want overuse. We want fine toning and good range of motion. So this is your last one. All right. So again, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, this is your week one exercises. Go for it. I'll see you back here at the finish line.